Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about percent problems. We're going to solve each problem, and we're going to round to the nearest tenth or tenth of a percent. So if I was given this problem, $73 is what percent of $125? Okay. So, let's see if we make an equation out of this. $73 is equal sign what x percent, right, whatever the x percent, of multiplication $125. Okay? So now let's go solve that. If I divide both sides by 125, okay, I'm kind of going to get rid of the, the units. I know my, my and answer is my percent. But the units kind of cancel, you can think of it like that. So if I divide both sides by the dollar signs, you can almost imagine the dollars cancel. But what's 73 divided by 125? I'm going to take my fingerprint. 73 divided by 125 is 0 0.584, and that's equal to x. Okay? So. Let's rewrite that to put x coming first. So x is equal to 0 0.584. And now we need to convert that to a percent. To do that, I'm going to move the decimal place over two units, 1, 2, leaving me with x is equal to 58.4%. And there we go. That's our final answer. We don't need to round. It's already rounded to the, uh, not even rounded at all, but we already have the tenths place there. There's nothing to the right of it. And so we have a final answer of 58.4%, which answers the question, $73 is 58.4% of $125. So let's recap. We're given the question, $73 is what percent of $125? So we then wrote, that's been an equation, $73 is equal to X percent times $125. I then divided both sides by $125, eliminating the dollar sign, and bringing the $125 over to the left. 73 divided by 125 of my calculator was 0 0.584, and that was equal to x. We wrote it to have x come first, because that looks nicer. We got 0 equals 0 0.584. I then had to write that as a percent, so I moved the decimal over two units. Leave me with my final answer here of 58, x equals 58.4%. Answering the question that $73 is 58.4% of $125.